So today I'm going to show a technique that uh, I use to um, generate uh, random sounds for sound design to make like glitchy um, textural elements. And uh, a friend of mine asked me to show uh, him a, or make a video for him about this technique. And so I thought I would post it. Um, maybe it would be useful to some other people. So we'll need a drum rack or something like that. And uh, some type of sounds. I'm just going to use these um, Vengeance real recording one shots and you can use pretty much however many you want I like to use 128 uh, just because it's a nice number and then this should fill the drum rack all the way up so yeah 126 just because there must be some stuff like this Anyways, hopefully, yeah, it's not actually a duplicate. Anyways, so we've got some sounds. And we could, like, change, for instance, the um, release time on these sounds or whatever uh, to make them, like, short and super glitchy or may this is kind of more, like, textural with the release set the way that it is. So, then we need to make uh, an audio clip, and I'm not really sure of a fast way to do this, but you gotta make an audio clip that has all of the notes, and actually, We'll set the scale to uh, 16th notes. Okay. And so, merrily duplicate all of this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's all of them actually. And. So now we got a clip as such, and don't don't even get excited. The tedium is just beginning. So now we gotta go through, Oops. and actually the loop point isn't the one that matters. Oh, for the love of Christ! Okay, anyways, doesn't matter. So the loop point doesn't matter so much, but what really matters is the end point. And so you're gonna make 128 mini clips a step at a time. So I'll probably make a cut here as I do this and come back when I'm done. Okay, so you can see I have made 128 clips here. Each of them contains a single note all the way through. And then what you will do is select all of those clips and go to your follow action. And I like uh, any other. You could select any or whatever you like, I suppose. And um, set that to there. And essentially just uh, let's see turn me turn loop off and just press play okay so like some of those samples are definitely a little extreme and so I think uh, there, there is a way, there is a way, you need to just change it to a, a sampler, and then I can totally do that. Cool. Do I have to do that for every one? 
I don't think so. I think it... Oh, yeah, I totally do. Well, in any case, if you were smart, uh, you would set this up beforehand, or you could just go through and select certain ones. But I'm not smart, and so I fucked this all up. It's never going to work. <laughs> and so then, it would be kind of fun. Also, we should turn this down, because it's really, really loud. Um, it would also be fun, probably wise, to just, like... Yeah, just a little EQ, and then, uh, and then you can just resample this thing. So the thunderstorm is kind of annoying. Um, really, it might be cool to just find it <laughs> and remove it. Change it to something else. But that's going to be a little bit of a trick. Um, I might do that off camera at another point. So then, obviously, you want to resample this thing. play with pitch bending and so forth but um, I think you get the general idea